Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own Gantt chart and have it saved as a view. So first of all, what I'm going to do is create a new one, a new file, Control N for new, and create a couple of tasks. Task A, task B, task C. And each of these can be a one day task. Okay, and I'm going to create a resource. I don't recommend doing it in here, but just for this demonstration, I will. So this would normally be a replica of your resource sheet, but you can actually create resources in there and they will appear in the resource sheet. So I'm just going to put builder as a resource and then I'm going to copy that one down like so. So this is my Gantt chart. This is a default Gantt chart. And if I double click on this side on the white area, or you can right click to get into bar styles, same thing. This is a list of all the different types of shapes with a description of what it's triggered by and what it is looking at. So task start and task finish is the task at the top, the default one, which is what these are. Now down the bottom left, You've got resource names, which is also the default. Uh, if I put name in there, that will change to be the tasks that you can see there. You can see these red men here, which indicates that the builder, there's this one builder, is over allocated because it's going on all these tasks. So what I want to do is save this Gantt chart view. This is the Gantt chart part. I want to save this as a view and call it a, a name that I can then click between. So I'm not gonna actually edit this one, so I'm not gonna delete all these, but I will on the new one. So but first of all, I need to save it. So you go to the view tab where it says other views and then save view. So I'll call this, I'll call it builder, just to make everything sound the same. So this is a view called builder. Okay, now, so what, happens then is you get builder appearing in this list down the left hand side so there it is at the top because it's alphabetical builder so there's a normal gantt chart with all of these sitting inside of it and now if i go into the builder gantt chart what i'm going to do is delete most of those so i'll go in there and i'll leave the top one on so i'm just going to press delete and come down get rid of all these and then i'm going to create my own at the bottom so this is a, a very simple Gantt chart with not much on it. So first of all, what I want to do is have one called Slack. So I'm just going to type Slack and then you set the appearance that you want this to be. Now, I know for people who've used Project before, there are other features that you can use to show Slack and things like that. But this is just to show you how you can create your own Gantt chart. What you put in here is totally up to you. So what I need to have in there for Slack is the word active, comma, not summary. So it's not a summary task, comma, and not a placeholder. So I'll just put that in there. And I'll show you why I know how to put that in there. That's key. And then this is also key. So this needs to be triggered by the task finish. So I'll go find task finish. And free slack free slack so you're looking for it there free slack so that's what that's triggered by now i need to color this slightly different first of all i want the bar to be thinner and i want the bar to be a different color to that altogether so i'll go for dark green so that's what that's going to be and now i want to one a one called delay now these exist elsewhere, but you get you'll get the idea. I'll change it the shape shape down again, and the color this time I'll have blue, green and blue. So this needs to say exactly the same as the one above. Now there is no option to pull that down. Now once you've typed that in, you need to change this again. So delay needs to be set to early. So type E. That says early finish, it needs to be on early start. So there that one is. And this one needs to be on 
task start, not finish. Let's drop that down. Task start. So those are the amendments I'm going to make. And you obviously can fill all this in as well. There's lots of things you can do. I'll just click OK to that one. Now, I've already got this set up. So as I've said, these red men means that these are over allocated. Get the computer to fix this over allocation. So onto the resource tab, and I'm going to use a feature called level, level all, or level resource. I could use that one. I've only got one resource, but level all, and then it will move people. Now you can see I've got the task A on there, and in task B and task C, and I've got these two lines that I've created. So you've got the slack. So what I want to do, instead of having task A there on that, I'm going to get rid of task A. Just double click. Click on the task one, the, the blue one, because that's what it's sitting on. And go to text and just delete name. Delete. And I've got one day on there as well on duration. Let's get rid of that. So just to tidy this up so we can see and there's nothing on that one. So everything disappears and you can see the lines that I've created. So that's okay. So you've got the green line, which is the slack, and then you've got the blue line, which is the delay. And those are the two that I created. Now, if I wanted these blocks to color up depending on whatever resource I've got there, I can do that as well. But what I need to do is cr get another column coming in. So I'm just going to... Um, Add a flag column, type F, flag one will do. And let's say if I put this to yes, I want that to go to a, a, a certain color. So I'm just going to rename flag one to be builder. So you can rename these. So that's builder. And I've only got it on one. Now what I need to do is edit this, my little Gantt chart again. So I'm going back in there. So I'm going to call this builder. And the appearance for this, so this is going to be, this bit is going to be amber, whatever color that is. And it's going to be set on flag. So I'm just type flag one. And then everything else can stay the same. So if flag one says yes, go that color. That's what I want that to do. Click OK. And it has gone that color. These two are not. And if I put these to yes, they will go the same color, like so. If I do a task D without a resource or without that resource on, it will be back as a normal blue color. So that's just a very quick video of how you can create your own Gantt chart. I've got the option of going back to the original or I can go to the one that I've created the top builder where I've tailored it to my own personal needs. So hopefully that video is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.